Seraphine is Runeterra's first pop star, armed with the power of magical empathy. She hears people's souls in the form of songs, and with her Hextech-powered stage, she can sing directly to their deepest feelings. Her dream? To use music to reunite Piltover and Zahn. With the help of her teammates, Seraphine takes the stage as a melodic mid-lane mage with massive potential. Look out, this starry-eyed songstress is just warming up. Welcome to the Seraphine Champion Spotlight. Before we get to her passive, let's start with the basics. Seraphine's Q, High Note, projects a musical chord that deals magic damage in a small area. The damage dealt increases with the target's missing health. <laughs> Looks like they're in treble. Her W is Surround Sound, which grants movement speed and a shield to Seraphine and her nearby allies. If she's already shielded, she gives everyone a heal, too. Oh, hope I don't get lost in all this music. Bring in more allies so they can all get healed. Soon they'll be feeling Sarah fine. Harmonize! Her E, Beat Drop, is a sound wave skill shot that damages and slows enemies. Her rhythm is their blues. If the foe's already slowed, they get rooted instead. If they're already hard CC'd, they'll get stunned. Talk about a showstopper. Gotta find the rhythm in the chaos. And now for the remix. Seraphine's passive stage presence comes in two parts. The first is her echo. Every third basic ability will automatically cast again, which has its own self-synergy. High Note's initial damage makes the follow-up missing health hit deal more. An echoed surround sound will grant move speed, a shield, and a heal all in one go. An echoed beat drop will both slow and root your opponents. Sounds like a certified banger. Gotta keep moving with the music. Now for the B side of her passive. Inspired by her friends, Seraphine stacks up one note per ally when she casts an ability near them, capped at four notes per friend. These notes give additional range and damage to her next basic attack. Stack them up throughout the fight and rain down a symphony. That's the end of this performance. Encore's coming up. When you're ready for an encore, unleash Seraphine's ult to charm and damage enemies in a line. Anyone can join the show, be it friend or foe. Hitting an ally will stack four nodes. Additionally, any champion hit resets the ability range, firing out even farther. You're breathtaking. Seraphine shines brightest when she's got an audience. She's more of a wave clear mid laner than a bully, focusing on double casts of high note to keep her farm up. From there, join up with your allies whenever you can, helping with invades or roaming the side lanes to amp up your KDA. To really top the charts, chain the effects of Seraphine's abilities. Charm the crowd with Encore and follow up with a stunning beat drop to set up easy listening for the rest of your team. This beat's got a kick. Though she's a solo laner, team fighting is her forte. Seraphine falls flat when split pushing. If she's alone, she might end up a one-hit wonder. Not a fan. Seraphine was born for quintets. Once you've gathered an audience, Encore is your greatest tool for an unforgettable show. Land beat drop before the charm wears off to stun them in place. Then hit a high note for your final chunk of burst. Oh, my audience disappeared. It's not over till the pink lady sings. For more on Runeterra's rising star, check out the links below.